how to find the nth prime number. Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics. And in today's video, we're, we're gonna wrap up everything that we've done all in one. So if you're new here, thanks for joining us. This is what we do, we do micro videos. Uh, we do one subject at a time, one topic at a time, one problem at a time. So if this is the type of video you like, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. So a few videos back, we looked at the actual flow chart, the, the algorithm of how to find the nth prime. So if you haven't seen that, I'll go ahead and put this up right now so you can go back and watch that. And we really dove into all of these steps and we went from there. So then a few few videos later, we went through and we covered all of the steps of writing. And also right here, this is is prime. So I'll put that video up right here. So we covered that. So here is the all of the steps, but the order of operations is wrong. So let's really dive into this. So here we are right here. We have our unknown, what we're seeking for, the first, the second, the third, the 100th prime number. That's x. We are starting at the second prime, and that happens to be 3, and we can revisit here. So, because <clears throat> our first prime number is two. So we hard coded that in. And so if they, if they enter one, two is the outcome. So our second prime is three. So that's our starting point. So let's just kind of really dive into our flow chart. So while prime, while our count of prime is less than x. We're going to do this. So we're going to continue to check if it is prime. So as you can see here, I have a comment right here. So in our, we're going to increment, we're going to check if it is still less than prime, we do this. Increment by two, check is prime. Then if it is a prime, we increment our prime by one. If no, we come back over here and increment by two. So why are we incrementing by two? Well, it can't be even. An even number is automatically dismissed as a prime number because it's divisible by two. So it has to be at least an odd number. So we're starting at three and we're incrementing by two and we're skipping over every even number. All right, now, so in our first go round, in our order of operations video, I incremented by two after we checked for prime. Well, that would be flawed because that's not what our flowchart says because we could find a prime increment. So we need to have this incrementation here. So we no longer need, this is not in the correct place. Now, now we need to really, so this will work. So as we can see, first prime number is two, second prime number is three, third prime number is five, fourth prime number is seven, fifth is 11, sixth is 13. So if I wanted to find the nth prime, the 100th prime number, it is 541. Now, we, we are going through this, and this is a great exercise, and I've done this problem several, several times, but I realized that I am not being true to this flow right here. So if we wanted to just really dive into this and make this exactly like our chart, because right now, we have this where it is coming here. So we need to tweak this. So we have our first step right here. Increment by two, we did that. Now, now we need to do a loop. 
is prime. So this is what we need. This is what we need to change. So while not because this is while this is no. So while this is false. So we need to do this. We need to make this true. So while not, we need to then num by two. All right. So now we're in our loop right here, our while loop. Then we need to break this out of it. So now let's go over this. Now this won't change any functionality too, but let's say you have this unbelievably linear problem and you have to attack efficiency. This is the most proper way to do this because we are breaking this out into its own loop because this is exactly what we'd be doing. Now, we could omit this, it will work fine, but I really want to draw attention to this, this whole process right here. Because if you can begin to do this, you can begin to devise any algorithm you need and you just go through the steps. And I didn't understand how important this was till probably about a year and a half ago. And every problem, every algorithm that I need to devise, I literally draw out what would, what would a person do in this process. And this is why I really, really, really want you to be drawn to this exercise. So now, so again, we'll get the same results, but it is the most efficient way because we are not going all the way back up to our while loop. We are just continuously sitting here. This is the most cost effective way for this algorithm to work. And we matched our flow chart. So there we go, guys. These are the type of questions that we're going to really be spending a lot more time on. And I'm going to begin to be sharing some of the processes which I go through and think through and how, because I've shared a few of them. One of my last ones a few weeks ago, um, we needed to put it all into one table. We weren't going to be able to run two tables. So I'm going to share with you what I did and I literally just drew it out and go, okay, I need this, this, and this. And I worked backwards. So there we go, guys. Um, I know it was quite in depth video today, but um, please drop any comments, questions, video requests. If you've not jumped down below in the discord server, please jump over there. We have a lot of great questions going on. We have a great growing community an absolutely supportive community. So if you're stuck on, any problems, challenges, things you're just not quite getting, just jump over there and someone, I or uh, one of the other members will walk you through and help you really see the steps which you need to take. But I can't say thank you enough. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for all the wonderful comments and the great deal of support. So thank you guys. and We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us, and we hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.